I'm Vinod, Chief Executive of Mahalakshmi Instruments. Today we are going to tell you how to calibrate a capacitance level transmitter. This is a rope type flexible capacitance level transmitter and we are going to tell you how to calibrate this today. You can see this is the electronic card of the capacitance level transmitter and as you can see there are totally six terminals four on the top two on the bottom the bottom two are connected to the inner and outer electrode of our transmitter and the top four is plus 24 volts minus and 4 to 20 minus and plus so totally four terminals both the negatives are internally short so this is a three wire capacitance level transmitter and then you have two push buttons for calibration the minimum and the maximum and then you have the two LEDs the power supply when you give the power supply you have the left on LED which will glow on the right you have the calibration LED so when your instrument goes into a calibration process you have the red LED glowing we shall now connect the instrument give it the power supply and tell you how to go ahead with the calibration process we have connected the power supply cord These, this wire is the 24 volts DC power supply to the transmitter the first terminal has been given 24 volts plus the second terminal has been given 24 volts minus and the balance two terminals we have connected to a multimeter ok we are going to start with the current calibration now you can see that there are two push buttons minimum and maximum what we are going to do first is we are going to push the minimum push button for three seconds and hold it after three seconds you can see that the calibration LED will start blinking I am pushing the minimum push button for three seconds the calibration LED is blinking and you should be able to see four milliamps on your multimeter but it's showing us 3.96 so what we need to do is we have got to increase this value to 4 so if we press the upper push button the value will increase if I press the lower push button the value will decrease so I'm what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press the upper push button you can see that the value is 3.96 and I'm pressing the upper push button and I'm, when I keep pressing it the value will keep increasing 4.02 now I need to decrease this value so I'm going to press the lower push button and you can see the value has come to 4 it's a perfect 4 so since this is perfect 4 I'm going to again press the minimum push button for 3 seconds so that our instrument comes out of the 4 milliamps calibration and you can see that the calibration LED has stopped blinking so we have come out of the 4 milliamps calibration now what we are going to do is we are going to do a 20 milliamps calibration 20 milliamps current calibration so I am going to press the maximum push button for 3 seconds again you can see that the calibration LED has started blinking and you can see that the multimeter is showing a perfect 20 even in this case if you want to increase or decrease the value you can press the upper push button or the lower push button and you can increase and decrease the value once you, your 20 milliamps is set you can again press the maximum for 3 seconds and you can come out of the calibration mode and the calibration LED will stop to blink and this shows that our electronic card is in perfect working condition this is part one of the calibration process now let's move on to the part two of the calibration where we will have to do this calibration on a tank here we are going to do a span calibration that is we need a 4 milliampere when your tank is absolutely empty and a 20 milliampere when your tank is absolutely full so for this we shall show you the calibration on the tank. This is the part 2 of the calibration process of the capacitance level transmitter. You have seen that we have connected the instrument with the 24 volts DC plus and minus. 
and then we have given the output to the multimeter. So before we start with the calibration process, there are two essential things which we've got to do. First, you got to fill up the tank till where you need the 20 milliamps. So we have filled up this tank till this portion where till where we need the 20 milliamps. So this tank is full. Second, we are going to connect a wire, this wire. This wire has gone to the negative terminal. It has gone to the negative terminal and it has been connected to the tank body. This has been connected to the tank body. So these are two essential things which you have to do before you start the calibration process. Before you start the part two calibration process, I repeat again, connect a wire which will be connected to the body of the tank and the other end of the wire should be connected to the negative of the terminal. Second, you have to fill up the tank. Fill up the tank till where you need the 20 milliamps. Now we start the calibration process once we are done with this. We are going to press the minimum and maximum buttons together. When we press the minimum and maximum buttons together for 3 seconds, you will see that the calibration LED starts blinking. You can see that the calibration LED has started blinking. And you can see the 4 milliamps current here. I am pressing the minimum button once. After I press the minimum button once, you will see that the calibration LED has stopped blinking and it has gone to a steady mode. It is no more blinking. And you can see that the multimeter is showing 20 milliamps, which means it is ready for the 20 milliampere calibration. I have put the sensor into the tank. The tank is full and I am going to press the minimum button once more. I have pressed the minimum button once more. You can see that the calibration LED has gone off, which means that we have come out of the calibration process and the calibration is complete. You can check this. Now when I am lifting up the transmitter slowly, you can see that this reading is gradually decreasing. So this completes our calibration process. Our calibration process complete. Thank you.